how's this actually being looked at in the halls of power there in Beijing? Well, I think in, in the short term, the Chinese must be pleased. Um, as you mentioned, I worked on the six-party talks in the Bush and the Obama administration. The Chinese constantly pushing, putting pressure on the Americans to engage in dialogue with the North Koreans. And I think they were surprised, frankly, that not only did the Americans agree to do it, but at the presidential level. This is a diplomatic breakthrough, not necessarily for the Americans or the South Koreans, but certainly for Kim Jong-un. He's been pushing for a meeting with the U.S. president um, ever since uh, we can remember. Uh, this, in many ways, is a victory for him. It raises his stature. It puts him on an equal platform with the U.S. president. But in the short term, I think the Chinese must be pleased. In the long term, I think it's a little different calculation. Paul, what's Beijing's angle on all of this? What would they be wanting as, as a best outcome? Well, clearly what the Chinese want is a much more stable uh, situation. And in the short term, they will get that if the talks continue and the missiles are not being tested and nuclear devices by the North are not tested. Uh, and the American president is not using uh, bellicose rhetoric and firing off provocative tweets. In the long term, however, these are very complicated issues. And I think this is why I think we have to be very cautious about what we have here. We don't know what we have here. We have not heard from the North Koreans in terms of what they're willing or not willing to do. We're getting this all from the South Koreans. In my experience, the North Koreans are ambiguous, their language is caveated, uh, and they often reverse very quickly. When they talk about denuclearization, uh, they're talking about removal of U.S. troops off of the Korean Peninsula. They're talking about uh, the U.S.-South Korea alliance uh, being dissolved. And so we have to get a better sense of what the North Koreans have agreed to here, and we need to hear from them directly before we can decide how successful this approach might be.